Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so I'm going to be telling you the books that I'll be reading tonight and into the weekend and into the coming week. So let me start with the book that I mentioned last week, and that is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I'm currently about halfway through this book, or a little less than halfway actually, and I'm absolutely loving it. This is very much a mystery with a lot of drama. Um, this takes place in an Australian beach town and it follows three women, Celeste, Madeline, and Jean. Celeste is, you know, these women um, in this town, a lot of them are very, you know, well-to-do. Celeste is the richest of the three. She is very wealthy. She has a seemingly wonderful younger husband, twin boys, and She's always jet-setting here and there, or at least her husband is, is jet-setting here and there a lot, too. Then there is Madeline. Madeline is sort of the center of the social group in the town of mothers. And, you know, in the beginning of this book, she's just turning um, 40. And she meets um, the third character in this book. Her name is Jane. Jane is a 24-year-old mother. They're all mothers of five-year-olds. And they all meet on the very first day in the beginning of this book during kindergarten orientation. And also in the beginning of this book, you find out that a murder has taken place or a tragic accident. You don't know which and you don't know what happens. So the whole book is trying to unravel not only what's going on in these individual women's lives, but what's going on in terms of this murder. Who was murdered? What happens? And you get little bits of information as you move through the book. And it's just so good and it's very gripping and I cannot wait to finish it and see what happens. I mean, there's drama everywhere. Even in the schoolyard, there's drama. So you get to find out what happens. And I cannot wait and then hopefully dive into the HBO series because that looks wonderful too. The second book that I plan to start this week um, and maybe even finish is All the Rivers by Dorit Rabinian. And this is part of Read Around the World that Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures is hosting. I'll link her channel below. Again, I talked about her last week during my April TBR. And this follows a young couple in New York who are dating and one is from Israel and one is from Palestine. And all of the politics that are involved in that, especially as their families meet, um, meet them. And this is by an Israeli author. It was translated from Hebrew, and I'm really excited to read this. It seems like a really interesting, good book. And I plan to take it slowly because I do want to participate in the chats um, of the Goodreads group, which I'll also link below. And yeah, so hopefully I, um, I get a good chunk of this done, but I'm going to be taking it slow and really trying to, you know, take it all in. And the third book that I want to read this weekend is A Wool by Hugh Howie. This one is another one that, you know, I've watched a lot of reviews on and it seems like it's a good read, but a very slow read. So I'm going to attempt to um, read this this week, but since it is a slow read and I've heard that from many people, I'm not sure that I'll be able to finish it because it's also quite a chunker. So this book is an adult dystopian. I actually thought it was YA at first, but it's not. It's an adult dystopian about a world that where the air is poisonous. And apparently all of the people live in this silo underground and all they know is that the air outside is poison. They don't really know how the silo started, how it all was, um, was built, and if you disobey the rules or if you're punished in any, any way, you're sent outside. Um, this book was actually originally published in five separate stories, um, and now it's in, so this is the like omnibus edition of just, you know, one chunker, and there's a the second book that's also an omnibus and a third book as well. So this is a trilogy. Um, yeah, so I'm really interested. It looks really dense, so I can see why people would 
think it was a slow read, but <laughs> I'm going to attempt to start this as well. I don't know if I'll finish it, but yeah, that's, that's the third book that I'll be reading this weekend. So that is all I have for you. I will see how far I get in these books, but I'm really excited for what I have picked out. And I think these are real thinkers and yeah, I hope you are all having a wonderful, um, Friday. I hope you all have a good weekend planned ahead. I have a little bit of a party tomorrow, so that should be fun. And then I have a lot of time on Sunday to spend reading, and I have some time tonight as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.